Hi everyone, I'm Brittany, Damien's mom. It's April 2024, which of course is tax month, and I have just finished itemizing all of the out-of-pocket costs for Damien's healthcare, and I thought I would share. In case you're unfamiliar with our story, Damien was diagnosed in 2021 with a terminal illness called acid sphingomyelinase deficiency, or as we call it around here, ASMD. And it's kind of like a baby Alzheimer's. And as you can imagine, all of the drugs and the therapies and tests and the scans, it all comes with a price tag. And not all of it is covered by health insurance. There's a lot that we do have to pay out of pocket. So let's go through them. I thought we could compare two different years. Um, I'm gonna share 2022 and then the itemization that I just finished for 2023. In 2022, our healthcare was through the state. Now Damien qualifies for all of the programs because of his diagnosis, but think about the quality of the experience you get at the DMV. And now think about getting healthcare with that same quality of experience. I actually had to go to the DMV a bunch in the past uh, couple years, and I can tell you firsthand that my experience at the DMV was far, far better. <laughs> but we're here to stay focused on the numbers. So let's get to it. 2022 was the year that Damien started his first experimental treatment. Because of all the blood draws that Damien has to do, we decided to get a surgery done in 2022 for an IV port placement. We had to spend a few days in the hospital. I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of like every single thing that we are doing because we have a child, but um, I will include inpatient meals um, for this video. So we paid $73 um, for inpatient meals. We ended up going to the doctor or getting a test done about 40 times. And every time we go to the hospital, we have to pay for parking. In 2022, we paid $328 just for parking at the hospital. One of the most vital parts of Damien's care right now is his therapies. In 2022, he was going to physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. He did go to group therapy once a week, which he loved. Did you come to school today? <laughs> Last clock for Damien. No, Ready? Damien came to school today, school today, school today. And um, we did some feeding therapy as well. Damien was covered by the state for all of those therapies until he was three years old. In summary, um, we were not able to do therapies for um, a few months as we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. In the meantime, Damien was really suffering because he was not in therapy anymore. So we decided to bite the bullet and just start paying out of pocket for the last few months of the year. And that cost $4,500. We also bought a bunch of equipment in 2022. Now the state should cover medical equipment, but again, going back to the idea of the DMV, like it's a nightmare. It's, it's a nightmare just to kind of give you an idea, we still have not received medical equipment that we ordered almost two years ago. Actually, someone just came last week, finally, with a piece of equipment that we had ordered. And of course it didn't fit Damien, like not even remotely. It was so, it was, it was absurd <laughs> how much Damien had grown since we had ordered that thing. So I couldn't even take it. So back in 2022, there were all these things that we desperately needed. So we just decided we were just gonna buy it um, and have them shipped to us a week later, like normal shopping experiences could be. Some of those things that we bought were a bath chair, a special needs stroller, and a standing frame. And the standing frame alone cost about $6,000, but total we paid seven seventy-seven seventy-eight. dollars $7,778. Also in 2022, we went to the ER a couple of times. One of those times we did need an ambulance um, and that cost us $2,500. So in total for 2022, we ended up paying, what is it? $15,179. And then if you add like the car mileage and wear and tear on top of that, which is about a a little less than a thousand dollars. The total now comes out to be sixteen thousand one hundred and thirty-two dollars. So let's compare that number against the number that I just added up 
for 2023. In 2023, we were still going through the state for Damien's insurance. We did one surgery. It was Damien's uh, feeding tube, his G-tube surgery. And we ended up spending a total of 10 days in the hospital for that. And we spent $142 in meals. We ended up going to the doctor or to the hospital or to do scans and tests 48 times. And we ended up paying $440 in 2023 for parking. We were still in the same situation with Damien's therapy. For the whole year, the therapies cost $22,140. We didn't have to buy any new medical equipment, but we did have to make a change in Damien's formula uh, that he was getting through his feeding tube pretty quickly. And the doctors put in prescriptions for this new vegan formula, um, but it wasn't happening fast enough, of course. So um, I had to cover the first couple months of being on that formula. We ended up spending $187 on Damien's formula. So for 2023, that brings us to a total of $22,909. But adding on the thousand or so dollars for the car mileage and the wear and tear um, for every trip, we can round that up to about $24,000. And as a reminder, that was with state insurance. State insurance was covering like practically everything. We didn't have to pay co-pays. We didn't have to pay for x-rays, for scans, for ultrasounds. We didn't have to pay for his treatments, but we did have to deal with their wait times, their unresponsiveness, um, the fact that to talk to someone on a phone, you have to call and wait in a queue for about three hours before you can talk to a person and sometimes that person doesn't even know how to help you. And then there's a ton of bureaucracy. There's a ton of different programs. They don't really know about how the other programs work. So they just keep pushing you around and to talk to different people. It's incredibly frustrating and it takes the slowest time to get anything approved. We're talking about things like not being able to get a wheelchair for Damien or the fact that we couldn't stay with Damien's local pediatrician. They changed his pediatrician to a doctor that didn't even see patients who were under the age of seven. And you have to call them and tell them, explain the problem every single time. And that comes with the wait times of like three, four hours. And it's, um, it's really, it's maddening. So with all of that headache, we decided this year that we were just gonna do private insurance. We selected a, a plan that costs about the same as what our total cost was for 2023, except for it covers our whole family, not just Damien. And so far their service is a million times better. I can call them up on the phone and talk to a real person in minutes instead of hours. We got to go back to our favorite local pediatrician and the insurance covers Damien's therapies at the therapy clinic that we have been at this whole time. And now I'm happy to report that we're finally making steady progress with the equipment that we've been trying to get ordered for Damien for years now. <sighs> Anyways, I hope that was enlightening to see some of those numbers. And just to be clear, the money that we're raising for this campaign, the Please Save Damien campaign, none of it is going to Damien's medical bills that we just went over. Um, all of the money that we're raising for the campaign, it's specifically being used to develop life-saving treatment for people with ASMD, including Damien and any other child out there who has it now or in the future. We obviously need that treatment to be developed as fast as possible to help Damien. And we are so close to reaching $1.1 million out of the 3 million that we need to raise. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and supporting our mission. If you are interested in donating, please go to savedamien.com and along the top are four different ways that you can donate. We'll see you next time. Bye.